So I've been getting a lot of questions lately in regards to gearing as a protection paladin that I'd like to address. There are three main gearing strategies that are prevalent, so let's talk about the pros and cons of each. First, let's talk about the avoidance build. Avoidance builds focus on dodge and parry. It's actually really effective in terms of total damage reduction. The problem is it has a higher potential for spike damage, which is more likely to lead to death than other builds. However, if somebody's new to the class and struggles with holy power and shield of the righteous management, this is an option. At the moment, on the 5.4 PTR, Grand Crusader has been changed to a 30% proc chance when we dodge or parry, and the chance to proc with Crusader Strike or Hammer of the Righteousness has been removed. This makes us weaker offensively when off tanking, but slightly stronger in AoE situations when we're actively tanking. It adds value to avoidance stats, but I'll still be avoiding them like the plague. Second, we have the Mastery build. Mastery increases the damage reduction of Shield of the Righteous, the healing of Bastion of Glory, and it increases the chance to block. So it's less passive than an avoidance build because it relies on our active mitigation, but it increases the chance to block as well, sometimes giving you a slight cushion when your Shield of the Righteous isn't up. Mastery is nice for mitigating massive hits, however when appropriately geared, nothing in current content hits us hard enough to warrant stacking it over our last build type. Our last build type is the haste build. Haste increases the rate at which we generate holy power, the tick rate of sacred shield, our self healing with seal of insight, and it also increases our damage output. This is considered to be the best gearing strategy hands down. I made a video with more detail about haste a while back, you can check that out here. When going for a haste build, you'll prefer mastery over avoidance as a secondary stat. So there you have the three build types. As far as control over your survival, avoidance will be on the losing end, mastery somewhere in the middle, and haste giving you the most control. All three gearing strategies have potential to be the best option on any given fight. However, haste will win out in almost every situation due to consistent shield of the righteous uptime, higher DPS, and higher HPS and uncontested dominance on magic damage based fights where avoidance and mastery will be next to useless. No matter what build type you're going with, hit and expertise capping is considered to be pretty key so that you will reliably generate holy power, that is 7.5% hit and 15% expertise for your caps, although some would argue that soft capping expertise instead of hard capping will lead to an HPS and DPS gain if you are going with a haste build, which is true. I however strongly prefer the reliability of holy power generation and hitting the hard cap is very easy to do with my gearing strategy. Now I'm not going to go through some theoretical best in slot list, but rather explain how you can make your own. You want to budget the hit between 1530 to 3150 so that you'll reach the cap of 2550 with reforging. The closer you can budget your hit to the cap on your overall gear set, the more flexible you will be. For expertise, the same concept applies. 3060 to 7140 to be in reforge range of the 5100 hard cap. So a truly ideal piece of gear will probably have a lot of haste on it and some expertise. For gems, we will essentially ignore socket bonuses and gem pure haste, at least once we have the stamina to do so. Stamina provides more room for error and more survivability, especially against magic damage. I keep stamina trinkets around for fights where I feel they are needed, but if necessary, I will start to gem for it. Enchants are really straightforward, enchant haste where possible, with the exception of boots if you like the passive movement speed, then stamina for other slots and mastery and parry for bracers and shield respectively, assuming you're not a leather worker. For the weapon, it's in the air between windsong and dancing steel. No matter what gearing route you're going with, it's important to understand that sometimes you're just not going to get the gear you're aiming for. So even if you're going for a haste build and let's say a heroic dodge slash parry helm drops, it's still going to make sense to take that over your normal mode helm with hit and mastery on it. 
it's going to have more strength, stamina, and armor. A little bit of avoidance isn't the end of the world, and you're likely already struggling to get under the hit cap anyway. So, however, if you have a lower item level helm with haste on it, then it might be a different story. So Blizzard has finally acknowledged that we enjoy haste, and has put haste on two of our tier 16 pieces on the PTR. I'm pretty thrilled to actually go for my 4 piece without feeling like it's a horrible choice. Hopefully this clears up how I stand in relation to gearing for my protection paladin. So just in case, I haven't made myself abundantly clear. Go for haste. Go for lots of haste. Go for haste on every single piece of gear. Put more haste on it. Put more haste in it. Get haste.